I miss you guys so much. So I'm super excited that I get to do what my very, very favorite thing in the whole wide world to do is when I'm at work, at school, read to you guys. So today I'm going to read a story called Someone Bigger. Our story is by Jonathan Emmett and illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. So think about it really quick. What does illustrated mean? Hmm. Think about it. And while I'm turning the page, I want you guys to get really comfy, curl up wherever you're at, get a blanket, snuggle up. I'll give you just a second to do that because I want you to be super comfy to listen to our story. All right, are we ready? Good. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They made it large, they made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then Dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse, a bridge groom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up too and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past the fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from his stall. And other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. But then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down. Everyone from zoo and town, rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. Postman, policeman, robber, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small, and as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. So while we think about our book that we just read, I want you guys to think about a time when you were told that maybe you were too small to do something, that you weren't quite big enough, and that you needed to be a little bit bigger to do something, right? Think about it really good. Talk it over with mom and dad. I hope you enjoyed the book. I miss you guys. Bye.